Last couple of days I've been doing a lot of work in my Adobe Captivate timeline and it's been a lot of repetitive work. So I was looking for some keyboard shortcuts. I knew they existed uh, but I hadn't used them in quite a while. So I found a really helpful page on the uh, adobe.com website. I'll put a link to it down in the description of this video here. Uh, and it has a list of all of the keyboard shor shortcuts that are quite useful. I'm sure you'll find them quite uh, beneficial to you. Um, but for right now, I'm going to share three keyboard shortcuts with you today just to get you started. Um, the first one, of course, is that what I was doing was a lot of design work. Now, this is just a sample project that I have on my screen right now. Uh, but as I was doing this design work, I wanted to get as large a screen as possible or as, or as large of a preview of my stage as possible. So being able to toggle between showing my timeline and not showing my timeline was quite beneficial. And the keyboard shortcut for that is Control-Alt-T. And if you're, uh, if you're in Captivate, you just press Control-Alt-T. You can kind of jump back and forth between those two views quite useful. I mean, certainly you can use the Windows drop-down or the Window drop-down, find your timeline and select it from there. But as you can see, this is quite a bit faster. So I'm going to keep my timeline up for the rest of these because they are related to the timeline. The other thing that, uh, that I found useful is if I wanted a series of objects to all sync with the location of the playhead, you could select a spot like this here and then select those items. I'm going to select these uh, multiple choice answers here. And then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control L. And that's going to align all of these to the current playhead location. So if I do that, instantly they're all at that spot. And unlike using your mouse to do this, they're all at exactly, I think in this case here, uh, what do I have that set for? That's three seconds. So it won't be 2.9 seconds or 3.1 seconds. It's exactly three seconds. Uh, so that's quite beneficial as well. Now there might be occasion as well, and, and certainly in my situation, this was what was uh, what, what I was experiencing was that you know, the length of time some of these objects appeared on the screen were somewhat random, and I wanted to extend them all to the end of the slide. And there's a shortcut key for that as well. So if I select all the objects in question, and if you use Control E, press that, and all of a sudden all those same objects are now extended right to the end of the timeline. I could, in theory, go into the timing panel, uh, assuming that it's open and uh, select display for rest of slide that works but you know that's about three or four steps as opposed to the single step of just pressing control E so hopefully those uh, keyboard shortcuts help you out as I said I'll put a link to that uh, help X file from adobe.com and you guys can learn all about all the different keyboard shortcuts of Adobe Captivate if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.